Well, what's up YouTube, how are you doing? This is Mr. Tybox123, and in this video, I'm gonna be upgrading my Mac Pro with a crucial 512 gigabyte M4 SSD. So here we are guys, I'm ready to upgrade my Mac Pro to the recently purchased IC Dot Cage and also the M4 SSD, the 512 gigabyte from Crucial. I brought you the unboxing yesterday. I've got my Mac Pro here ready to go and I thought I'd just take you through the upgrade and show you how you go about upgrading one of these things, what it involves and we can also take a little peek around the inside of my Mac Pro. So let's get a close up on the IC Dock put in the SSD and then we'll install that in the Mac Pro and you guys can see the process. So here we are guys, this is the Crucial M4 512GB SSD and then we've also got this IC dock here which is going to enable us to mount it inside one of the bays on the Mac Pro. So first of all what we have to do is place our thumbs here and just slide the top off of that IC dock. And then you can see inside we've got the connector for the SSD and that's actually going to convert that into a 3.5 inch format. So literally all we do is for some reason upside down push the SSD into its slot and then just push that straight into its connector there nice and hard push it in. There we go give it a little bit of leverage there and then we can just simply place the top back on there and then just slide that and that clicks back into place and then we've got our three and a half inch drive with the two and a half inch SSD inside it and ready to go inside the Mac Pro. So here we are guys, the drive is all ready to go now. Now all we've got to do is take the back off of the Mac Pro and then we can actually get access to those drives. Now the way that you actually do it on this particular Mac Pro, let me just adjust the camera there is literally just pull out the little lever here on the back and then the side just pops off and we can just remove that and there you go that's the actual side case in there of this Mac Pro. Now once you've got that let's just spin that back round and there you go and now you can actually see the four drive bays that are currently housing one terabyte drives in each and I've got those set up in a RAID 0 formation. So now all we've got to do is remove the relevant drive, put in the caddy, the IC dot caddy or the case converter, whatever you want to call it, slide it back in, put the side back on and then we're ready to go. So while we've got the sides off I'll just show you the inside of my Mac Pro. First of all there we've got the two ATI 5770 graphics cards. If we go around to the back there you can see both of them have got three ports, two mini display ports, and then also the DVI. This casing here it holds the power supply, and then at the front here we've got the casing for the super drive. Now then if we come down the bottom here, we've got the CPU along with the memory in there, and if we want to remove that whole tray, we can simply pull out these levers here, and then this whole tray just slides out and then you can take a look at that and then at the back there we've obviously got the fan. So there we go guys, that's the inside of my Mac Pro. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put this camera back on the tripod, remove the right bay and then replace it with the SSD. So here we go guys, the way we pull these out is just simply pull the actual drive bay out itself and then it's all nicely cased in there so we can just literally plug them in and out nice and easily. So all I've got to do now is take off the actual hard drive and replace it with this icy box with the SSD inside it. So there we go guys, we've now got the caddy nicely attached there to the bay that's gonna go back in the Mac Pro and we just literally slide that back in and that should slot perfectly into place. And there we go guys, that's nice and tightly in there now. Now I'm going to power this thing back on, put it all back together, plug all of the monitors back in and all of the USB cables, install Mountain Lion and let's see how we get on and I'll be back with you in a minute. So I've now got Mountain Lion installed on the Mac Pro with the new 512GB SSD installed and it really does feel like a brand new machine. It feels almost as if Apple actually did pay some attention to the Mac Pro, give it an upgrade and it's like a whole new machine. 
So what we're gonna do now is actually give the thing a speed test. So I've got here installed the Blackmagic disk speed test and we're just gonna run this up and see what kind of performance we get. Now bear in mind that this version of the Mac Pro is only SATA 2, so we're not gonna get the full speeds of the SSD, but even so, it should still be fairly decent. So let's give this a whirl and see what kind of performance we get. I'll just change the stress to one gigabyte and off we go. So there we go, straight round to 245 megabytes per second on the right and 266 megabytes per second on the read. Back round to 245 on the right and then also on the read. Now at the moment I'm importing loads of email into my Outlook account and I'm also doing some other bits and pieces so it's slightly slower than it would be. But even so, 250 megabytes per second either on the read and the write that's more than enough for me on the Mac Pro. And I'm absolutely loving this upgrade. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. Please do hit that like button, and I will see you all in the next video. See ya.